Hi guys, Richard Matharu here and today I want to talk about a skill that's vital to you growing your business and helping people and that's being a closer. And when I say closer, if you're thinking negatively, you know, shut some people in a room and make them buy, maybe that's part of the issue. All I mean by closer is giving someone the best opportunity to join what you do. You know, you want to make sure that they've got all the information that they need to make a decision because what we have changes people's lives. You don't want someone to walk away from that for you not doing your job and, of course, you want to grow your own team. So if right now you're getting a lot of people saying, I want to think about it, I need to ask my husband or wife or um, I haven't got the time, I haven't got the money, all these kind of excuses or objections, we should say, then chances are you don't really know how to close and this video is definitely going to help you grow your business and help some people. So what I want to say first of all and something that's important is Timing is, is vital when you're closing, when you want to be a good closer. You need to be in contact with your prospect at, as close to the point of time that they've just seen your information, they've just been exposed to your business. Obviously, if it's a home party, excuse me, or it's a, a meeting in your area, you're going to be there. That goes without saying. But a lot of you build your business online or you hand out DVDs, webinars, whatever it may be, you want to agree a time and, and know when you're going to follow up. And that's when they're going to view their information. Here's why. We all know that everybody is an armchair expert in our industry, aren't they? They've probably never even done our business before. They don't really understand what it's about. They have no idea really what you do. Or maybe they tried a different company. They didn't work it and they failed. Or they know somebody as everybody knows somebody. You know, so what's going to happen to your prospect? They view the information. Maybe they're excited, but you're not following up until the next day. They go to work. They've had no training about how to talk to people about your business. So they get it wrong. And people are probably going to be negative anyway, even if they got it right. And they go, oh, that sounds like a scam. You're doing, doing oh, what? Sounds like a scheme. I wouldn't spend any money on that. No, no. You know, and they put the frighteners on them, don't they? Dream stealers, I call them. You know, those people, they probably need our help most. But, you know, they haven't got a lateral thinking bone in their, in their body. So no chances. But what happens is that person who was excited and wanted to join and, and, and do something good in their life is now all of a sudden stepping back and got all these questions and issues that they never had before. So you want to be there to follow up when they've seen that information so it's their opinion and their view and their questions that you have to deal with, not everybody else's who, quite frankly, know nothing about what they're talking about. So, you know, they don't want to listen to those people, but they do. So that's the first important point. Be there at the point of exposure. Then when you're there, what you want to do is, and this works on the phone or online, you've got to ask them. You've got to ask them to join. A lot of you don't even do this. What did you like about it? Yeah, that's great, and I've, and I've taught that before, but we're moving on as an industry now. We're always improving. What we're finding works better now is simply asking them in an excitable manner whether they want to join. So do you want to go into business together? Hand out, ready to shake the hand if you're there in person. You know, um, exciting stuff, just like I said. So we're gonna, you're gonna ready to join the team? Me and you, we're going to go into business together. Ready to get started? Let's put you in the system then. Shall we go? You know, you, you need to, something like that, something exciting, ask them the question, well, what happens if they say no? That's no big deal, because one or two things is going to happen. They're either going to say, no, it's really not for me, I'm not interested at all, fine, you've just saved yourself some time, save them some time, and also they never feel like you've tried to pressure them, you just ask them the question and you moved on. Or number two, you, what most is going to happen is you're going to find out exactly what their objection is. If you're nervous and you mumble on and you ramble on with extra information about, well, oh, they didn't mention this bit and... Or the fifth bonus on the sixth side will earn you a, a holiday and blah. You know, if you give them all this information that they never even asked for because you're nervous, you're giving them more questions. You're actually moving them further away from joining. Every single question and conversation you have after they've seen the information wants to bring them into your business. Anything else is a waste of time. Your time, their time. So ask them to join. If they say no, they're going to give you a why because you're not going to say anything. So you ready to get started? Do you want to join? No. So you look at them and they're going to fill that silence. Well, because and that because is the real objection that you probably would have never even got to. You know, and what I sometimes do is I prompt them if they're struggling. Well, no, Well, you could be totally honest. Why not? You just you can be totally honest. Why not? It's no big deal. Why not? You're going to get the real objection. Well, you know, it's just because, you know, I noticed that you need to sign 20 people up to make any money in this. And I just don't feel I can sign 20 people up. And my screen's moving. That's it. Um, where did you see 20? You sign one person up and you start to, to make money. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You get one our compensation plan, one sign up and you start to make money. All right. OK. So you ready to get started? Now we move that out of the way. We've solved that issue. Well, I guess I am. 
you know, you would have never have got to that point if you'd have started to lay on the information thick. And, you know, just lay the cards on the table. If they do give you an objection, lay the cards on the table. What is it that they're really saying? What is it they're really saying? I don't have the money. Well, that sounds like a polite way of saying that you don't think you can do this. Because I just saw a way to make money. You must have just seen a way to, to have a cost or lose money. So... You know, there's obviously some miscommunication here. Do you not see that as a way of earning money? And then shut up and see what comes back. You know, can you see how I laid the cards on the table? Most of you would have said, oh, well, yeah, times are tough. Or well, I, I guess, yeah, OK, uh, maybe when do you get paid? Or how can we how can we look at getting money? You know, that's OK. What is better to just say what well, actually what they really are thinking, which is if I said to you every day, give me $50 and I give you 100 back. It's a no brainer. It's not a cost. It's a benefit. So if your information, if you've answered enough questions to show them how they can do this, it's not a cost. It's a way of accessing profit. You see that? So that's not the real question they were asking. And do that with everything that they say. I don't feel I've got enough time for this. Oh, really? How much time do you feel you need? Just, you know, just throwing it out there. How much time do you feel you would need? How much time could you put into something, this or not? And see what comes back. And then see if that's the real issue or not. They've either got a ton of time or they've got no time. And then, of course, you say, well, probably we need to change that. Do you not think you would like some free time in your life? I mean, it's up to you, but I would want some freedom. Be be honest, be direct, be bold. Not rude, but be bold and assertive. And you're going to find that people respond to that. They like your honesty. They're used to the tricky questions of leading them somewhere. But when you just lay it out there and be honest with them, they see you as a person who can be trusted. And also, they see that, well, I can do this. This guy's just been honest with me. If you bring out tricky statements and clever tactics they don't feel they can do this and you're making again you're making it harder for them to join they feel they need to learn a certain skill so be there at the point of when they view the information ask them to join you got to do that and then whatever they say be honest what you feel it is that they're actually asking be polite but assertive and just throw it out there cards on the table see what comes back see if you can move forward or not so take this advice on board guy trust me it works go out there and create a day that counts and i'm going to see you on the next video